Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making a sweetened condensed milk pound cake. So you might want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 325 degrees so it'll be warmed up by the time we get this mixed together. As you can see all the ingredients you're going to need are on my counter and we're going to start with five eggs which we're going to blend together with our mixer. You want to go ahead and break up all the yolks and we're going to actually go through with the mixer quite often with this stuff to try to make it light and fluffy that's the whole goal of mixing the next few ingredients so make sure you get your eggs completely mixed together and then we'll move on to the next ingredient So as you can see with my eggs, they're completely blended and they're getting a little frothy here. So we're going to go ahead and add the next pieces to this, which it's going to be two sticks of melted butter. And I'm putting them in one at a time because that way I, I melted them down in these containers. It was easier to deal with. And once you get them in, we're going to go ahead and mix again. If I were you and I were mixing this, I'd be on at least a medium speed to do this or a little bit more if you want. We want to actually get this to be really mixed through. And to this, we are going to add two cups of sugar. And just add this in slowly as you're mixing. And now run your mixer around the bowl to make sure that we get all of this incorporated. We want to make sure all the sugar comes to the top. It doesn't get stuck on the bottom. And we want to get it mixed through. Because as we're going this, the ideal thing is to keep mixing this for at least five or more minutes to get it really light, frothy, ready to go, and ready to make this pound cake. Now as you're mixing this through, as you go further and further along, you notice it's going to look a lot lighter, a lot more mixed together, a lot frothier on top, a lot more of a light mixture, and that's what you're going for. We just want to make sure that everything is completely incorporated and this has been really mixed through. As you're going along, you might want to take your mixer and go around the edges of your bowl just to make sure we pull in everything that might have settled on the side or toward the bottom. That way we can just keep going because as you're doing this, you're going to notice there's going to be bubbles popping up in this and everything and that means that everything really is mixing. Now, as we go through this process and we're getting ready to have this all mixed together, you're going to need to remember that you're going to need at least two loaf pans to put this in at the end. I actually am going to use a loaf pan and then a pan that has four minis on it so that way I can share this with other people. But you're going to need something that's going to hold the equivalent of two large loaves. And now we're going to get ready to add the sweetened condensed milk. Now you're going to use one can which is 14 ounces which is the standard size of this what I do is I put some of it in then I set the can to the side to let it settle to the bottom again so I can actually get it out more because sometimes this stuff sticks to the side and the bottom and you know you can scrape it but sometimes it's best just to let it sit and then pour the rest in once it's settled on the bottom again so go ahead and mix again and we're gonna keep going until this is totally incorporated And once you get this completely mixed into the bowl, you're going to want three and a half cups of all-purpose flour ready to come in because we're going to add this to the mix we've already put together. Again, if you haven't preheated your oven, you should go ahead and do it to 325 degrees so it'll be ready when we're ready to put these in. And we're going to go ahead and add the flour. Now, 
it might be best, depending on the size of your bowl, to put in about half the flour, mix it, and then put the other half. So that way it doesn't throw all over the place when you turn your mixer on. And sometimes when you use about half the flour, it's easier to incorporate that and then add the other afterwards so it doesn't become lumpy and hard to deal with. So once you feel that you've gotten the majority of that flour mixed into your bowl, into your batter, you can go ahead and add the rest that you had left over in the container. So as you can see, mine is pulling through quite well right now and I'm gonna get ready to add the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in the last of the sweetened condensed milk. I'm gonna go ahead and empty the rest of that can out for what settled on the bottom. And sometimes you have to have a spatula to do this. And then once we have that in, we're gonna go ahead and mix up a little bit again and then add the rest of the flour into the mix. Now at this point, everything you needed to put in to make the pound cake is in there. So go ahead and get this mixed completely through and then we'll prepare to put this into our baking pans. So once again, make sure that you get around the sides of your bowl and go down to the bottom to make sure everything is incorporated. And as you go around the sides, it'll probably pull off whatever's sticking to the sides of your bowl. And then we're going to put them into the containers that are going to be our baking dishes. Mind you, when you go to put this in, yes, you might make a mess of it. I do. I just put it in and I wipe the top off and get it all off of the pan itself. Because you don't want any of this right around the edge because as it bakes, it'll harden and actually attach itself to your pound cake. And you're going to go ahead and fill up all of your baking pans and get them ready to roll. Like I said, preheat the oven to 325. These are gonna be in there for an hour and a half. So as you can see, this is what I have going into the oven. And when it's done, it looks something like this. This is the way it comes out after an hour and a half. And these have such a wonderful sweet taste. I'm sure you'll like these as much as I do. And when they're completely done and you slice them up, they look something like this. And they're amazing and they're great to share if you can make smaller ones just to give the people for our dessert. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to, please check out my cookbook, which is available on Amazon and in bookstores worldwide. Have a great day.